What's up guys? We're in Houston, Texas at Alpha Land right now. What? Not not energetic enough? <laughs> Yo, what's going on, fam? Back with Between the Sets. We're in Alpha Land right now. The 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 HQ of it all. Are you freaking kidding me? We're actually doing it. I did, I did. Alright. <laughs> no. See? See it didn't do good. What's up guys? Another Between the Sets. Y'all know the deal. First we get the pump, then we go straight to the pod. Today we got a special guest. We haven't ran into him. Okay. <laughs> we oh shit. Vax. Uh, we haven't ran into him yet. We, we're about to go meet him right now. Oh, he's right here. Oh, hey, what's up, hey, guys? What's up? Thank you for joining us today. Absolutely. That's crazy, man. What's, what's up, guys? <laughs> Dude, y'all have shirts off and shit. That's awesome. Max today is going to run us through a workout of his own. We're going to push today. A little push, a little chest, a little shoulders. A little push, actually. He's a lot stronger than us, so we'll see how it goes. We'll see if these small fries can keep up with the, the old powerlifting G. Uh, you just want to do some like flat, then we can do some shoulder presses? Yeah, yeah, we'll do whatever, yeah. Whatever he wants to do is what we do. Yeah, but I'm going to step it up a little bit. Whatever weight I would normally do, I'm going to act like, like, oh, yeah, I know I do like 10 pounds more than that. No. I know you're strong enough to easily hit 10, 100. We'll mess around with 100. We'll see. What'd you just hit, 35? I usually do like, I'm, uh, I feel like my warm ups have like not changed even as like my weight increase. I'm the same way. It's like 35, 40s. Yeah, I usually like two warm ups and then just kind of hop into shit. To be honest, with deadlifts, no matter how much my deadlift got up, I would still like 135 for two sets of like 510, then it'd be like 225, 315. I never like was like, oh, I'm gonna skip over these other weights as I got like stronger. Did y'all do any strength training or powerlifting? I like to strength train for upper body. I'm kind of cutting, so when it comes to like squats right now, I'm not going like super heavy. What's your PRs? Shout out the big numbers, dude. Yeah, yeah, okay. Best bench I've ever did before I tore my pec was 375. Probably my ass, but 375, squat, I think, 565, low bar, wider stance, like really going for it, yeah. I think 565, and then deadlift, 635, uh, sumo. Hey, you don't gotta downplay like a sumo, bro. No, I know you're a sumo guy. Yeah, I've done the conventional stuff too, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's funny, cause like, when I came on the scene, that was like the exact moment in my training that I had switched from conventional to sumo. So I came on doing sumo, and everyone would talk shit to me about sumo, but they didn't know that I, I had done conventional that's all right. the way up and I started sumoing it like I was doing like 540 or something so everyone talked shits and I was like all right hold on so I switched to conventional and then I beat my sumo with conventional to shut everyone up saying it was easier I was like no I just prefer it Deadlifting is fucking cool, it's badass, it's fun to do, but I've always ended up being hurt. That's why I would switch to sumo, because I actually think I'm, I, can, I think I'm actually better at conventional. I'm like fast off the floor with it, because I'm like an explosive deadlifter. Like I need to like, I can't like sit and like sit back into it. I'm like, I just like yell at it, and then like as soon as my hands touch the bar, it needs to be like up. And so with conventional, my back would just feel wrecked, and I could sumo all day. But I would conventional, and like the next week I'd be like, ugh, I'd be like driving, I'd have pain in my back. I'm gonna do one because I'll, I'll see how heavy I can work up, but I, I'm not gonna jump from 55 to 100. I'll probably do like 70 next. Feel like, like you need a warm up? Yeah. Yeah. Some people would like just get into tricep dips and they're like, all right, six plates, like yeah, start. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. Bruh. Yeah, people are weird like that. I don't know how they do that. Well, I've like pulled a lat and then it was actually right when I was training for a power lift to meet. I never, it was one of those things like you pull it and I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> the rule of thumb with lifting is if anyone's stronger than you or more muscular than you, they have the right. Just the, the unwritten rule of the bros, you know? Yes, sir. Brody will learn. He's still <laughs> <laughs> Have you done any like uh, competing of any sort? No. No? I can't. I gravitated towards like powerlifting because I was like good at deadlifting, but also I liked competing in powerlifting because then it was like I either hit the lift or I didn't. It wasn't yeah. like did someone think I looked shredded? Yeah, yeah exactly. Come on. I'll try. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Let's see. Ugh. There you go. Come on, Max. Let me wipe my hands off here. Hold on. All right. It's gonna be easy. Ugh. Boom. Easy. Come on, two, three, oh, eight. Yeah. Nice. There. That's nice. Although, when you grab them, though, because you have like, I know you have like pretty strong forearms, grip strength. Does that do? Do the weights feel heavier in your hands? When you're actually just grab them, though, because like your grip strength is probably pretty strong from deadlifting. No. One, one good trait I have is my grip strength. Yeah. This one flies outside. Let's do it. He said we got box jumps next. <laughs> I fucking. We're doing the warp wall right here. 
back in the day, like when I was like 23, like ego lifting, shit, I'd get like the 50s or like front raise. I'd be like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Like, I, yeah. like make sure everyone knew that I was fucking. Damn, I love this with these. Yeah, it's these nice, feel right? really good. It's yeah. different. You need to get like the whole set. It. They're so like you'll have like random ass weights, but. No, I'm not even shitting you. I usually always just focus on chest on my push days, you know, and then I like maybe do lat raises, maybe. But like, like with dumbbells, always feel something weird, you know? Some like. Really? Yeah, like you know. With not, raises. With raises, that I felt like the full, the full muscle engage. Felt really good. I'm not even just making that up. And you feel like fucking Iron Man, like. Just... Yeah, yeah. You actually look way more badass. Too. <laughs> or you kind of feel like, you know what you look like? You know, in Incredibles, you know, Mr. Incredible had those fucking things around his. Yeah, yes. like, yeah, like, yeah. Like a cage in your fucking hands. Yeah. Are y'all juicy bras or are you natty, no. natty bras? The second question: natty. Are you natty or are you actually natty? Actually, natty. Actually, <laughs> actually, natty. The thing that stopped me from going like you know the fucking what is it like the bullshit around like all the storms and shit. Uh -huh. I played college baseball. I was just so scared of uh, drug tests. But NCAA, double you can't take none of that. Or I would have got like I think I would have got suspended for a whole season. <gasps> my main reason was probably his family. Yeah. See my dad. Family. <laughs> yeah, no, because my dad was always just an advocate. You know, he was always into lifting, but never actually like. He was, yeah. He was like, oh, this guy's on. He would always like, like, oh, but he's on steroids, though. You know, I'm like, oh. It's so, always a double edged sword of like. Yeah, that was like the biggest reason. Like, if your dad lifted and he was like, a, like when I, when I teach my kid to lift, if I've never taken anything, I'm probably gonna make sure I appreciate that. And then, yeah. And then usually kids like are like look up to their parents, so it like instills a good kind of moral. Absolutely. I probably fucked up a lot of my earlier years because like once I got past little newbie games and I started looking like like a gym bra, like really fucking lean and like, but still like 160 pounds or 158. But I started having like muscle and definition and everything. I basically wasted all the years of like putting on actual, any actual mass. Cause I just like wanted to stay lean all the time when I was like first starting out. So I probably like, if I taken advantage early on, I bet I could probably have like maybe 10 more pounds of actual muscle on me. Yeah. But I no regrets, you know. My first probably uh, year and a half, two years of lifting, I didn't cut because I really didn't know how. And then once I did, never went back. I can't get too far into the hole. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, also, I like, and I know usually people are always like, you're a bitch, yeah. you know, just just eat more food. But like, yeah. I also like eating for me to eat like, I didn't even say three thousand, but like thirty five hundred or up, like on a daily basis, is not something that like I'm. Right. I don't, I'm not in, I don't enjoy that. Yeah. Especially from like clean sources where I just need to eat like a lot of fucking, you know, oh, rice and sweet potatoes yeah. or whatever. I just yeah. can't eat that much food. So like maintaining in the 160s, like super low 170s is like naturally how I eat. I'm yeah. not having to think about it. Right. For me, as soon as I up the calories, I start breaking out. Yeah. As well as I get face fat easily. And so it I just it, yeah. kind of breaks my mental health down because I don't look my best and I know it. Nothing tastes as good as being shredded feels, you know? And my, like my thing early on was always like, whenever people would call me skinny or whatever, especially because my, my legs are so small, I would just be like, well, I can deal for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, like, and I could squat. I could never bench warm people, but I was like, I could, most, of, most of the time I could definitely squat more than a lot of people, but I could definitely deadlift more than most people. And those are arguably more badass anyway. People would say to me, like, why do you want to not look like you lift but be really strong? And I would say the opposite of like, why do you want to look like you're really strong, but you're not? Yeah, no, I'd rather be really strong and not look good than be really, really big and not strong at all. I always try to be like the, try to be like the sleeper Honda. You know, <laughs> yeah. like, I want to look like I'm not fast and then I have like a fucking V12, 800 yeah. horsepower on the engine. Sounds good to me. I'm pretty much like a five exercise kind of guy at this stage. Cause I, especially because I work out. I don't know if it was Look. a B or not. I've never been stung before. I got lit up at, as a kid, man. Yeah? Yes, now like. Any bees, I'm just like, fuck you. I got stung like a lot as a child. I, I, I was raised in like the literal, like, I lived in like the mountains. Like, I would play in the mountains all day. Like, oh, like out, like yeah. literally, like on acreages of mountains. Yeah. I would always get stung by walls. Yeah, so oh, you just always, always getting fucking stung. You going back you? inside? Yeah, we'll do some just tricep machine or like a rope. We'll do the last one in like the air condition so it starts cools down. So we won't be dripping no, sweat like for the pot. Idea. I like that idea. You can like push that; it'll start it in a better position for you. It's kind of nice. Oh no, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Are y'all big on like the accessory stuff, or do you like try to do like pretty much all just compounds? I'm big on accessory. Uh, my first two are gonna be compound though. Yeah, and always, then the rest. Always, yeah. Always, yeah. And that's the ones like uh, make sure to go to failure and like push my hardest. Yeah. Every every now and then on like a Saturday or something, I. I might whip out like a full ass arm day and I was like biceps, triceps. Yeah. But it's so funny how like some of the shit doesn't matter. I remember when I was when I was trying to get my bench up, I got my bench up to 335. And like during that whole training of like getting my bench, I didn't do a single like
like nowhere in my programming was any like tricep extensions. It was just like, it was just more bench, 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 bench. Did you uh, gaming anymore? Delayed? Yeah, no, no I, I, I do. I'll play some four. Do you know, uh, do you know who Cornelius Masterson is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm good buddies with him. We, we became friends through Fortnite like years and years ago, but now we're like pretty close. So I'll play four with him, but I'm big into like, I really like like action RPGs like Diablo and shit. So I play a lot of like yeah. Diablo and then some other like games that are similar to Diablo and then like Resident Evil. I like RPG games, but uh, I'll just play them kind of here and there. But I've always been like, I've been, like been doing video games like my whole life. I really like them. So my, my fiance was always like, uh, her name's Taylor. I'll call it Taylor Knott. She's always like, oh, I like, like when you play because she's like, because then, because normally like stress out with work or like yeah. thinking about stuff, but when you're gaming, like the only thing you can think about is like what's happening in the game. That's true. That's a good point. So it like allows me to like put everything else kind of like to the side. PC? Yeah. Yeah. What do y'all play? Xbox. Yeah? Like COD yeah. or what? You put Xbox? Your Xbox as well? I have a PS4 still. So. Um, last thing I would play, like lately if I get on, it's always social first. So I, I'd probably play Fort because everyone has Fort yeah. and I just want to like talk to my friends and like, you know, just talk shit. We'll have to run up some Fort soon. Y'all good? Dude, we play like, Corn, we had the same Corn's conversation. really good. But, so, yeah, Court. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's like, he's like, is he a sweat? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hell yeah. He's way better. I'm like decent. He's like really fucking good. Right. No, but my buddy Joe plays it and then Corn also plays it. That's a sweat game, bro. I, I know that's a sweat yeah. game. Yeah. What did y'all work out yesterday? Did, you didn't do push yesterday. I did, did arms. You? Okay. I did legs. Oh, so there you go. Perfect. Yeah. So uh, we're chilling. Here, I'll show you this. Sweet.